Pierre de Coubertin once said, the most important thing in the Olympic Games is not winning, but taking part. Well, I guess that explains why I never made it to the podium. I was too busy taking part in post-competition pizza parties. <laughs> Faces of History Welcome to a special and extended episode of Faces of History, as we celebrate International Olympic Day. Today we embark on a captivating journey into the remarkable life of Pierre de Coubertin, the visionary behind the revival of the Olympic Games. Join us as we explore the inspiring journey of this extraordinary figure and delve into the lasting impact of his Olympic legacy. On New Year's Eve, January 1st, 1863, in the vibrant city of Paris, France, Charles Pierre Freddy de Coubertin was born into a noble family. His father, Charles Louis de Freddy de Coubertin, was not only a painter but also held the esteemed title of a baron. The family's roots trace back to Rome, Italy. Pierre's upbringing in an intellectually stimulating environment laid the foundation for his passion for education and his commitment to promoting physical fitness alongside intellectual pursuits. As a young man, Pierre de Coubertin mistakenly believed that sports were merely frivolous activities. However, his perspective changed dramatically after actively participating in rowing, boxing, fencing and rugby. These experiences provided him with invaluable insights into the importance of physical education. Pierre pursued higher education at the prestigious Paris Academy of Political Sciences, known as Sciences Po. His studies in law and public administration fueled his intellectual curiosity and further nurtured his passion for research, education, history, and sports. Deeply intrigued by sports management and organization, Pierre de Coubertin embarked on an extensive research. He sought to understand how sports could be effectively incorporated into educational systems. His journeys to the United Kingdom and the United States in the 1880s and 1890s allowed him to gather insights and inspiration from pioneers in the field. Pierre's travels also exposed him to the ancient Olympic Games, held in Olympia, Greece from 776 BC until their suspension in 393 AD. The rich history and cultural significance of the ancient games captivated his imagination. On January 1st, 1888, Pierre de Coubertin founded the Commission for the Propaganda of Exercise and Education, garnering support from various organizations and individuals who shared his vision. This marked a significant milestone in his quest to promote physical education and revive the Olympic Games. Pierre's passion for reviving the Games reached its pinnacle on November 25th, 1892 at the Sorbonne University in Paris. At the age of 29, he published a 14-page plan in French, outlining his vision to resurrect the Olympic Games. This seminal work laid the foundation for future discussions and collaborations. On June 23, 1894, an international conference convened in Paris, bringing together individuals from various nations. It was during this historic gathering that the decision to revive the Olympic Games was made, leading to the establishment of the International Olympic Committee, the IOC. The establishment of the IOC marked a significant milestone in the history of the Olympics. Headquartered in Lausanne, Switzerland, the IOC became a non-governmental organization responsible for the management and organization of the Olympic Games, which would take place every four years. Pierre de Coubertin's unwavering dedication and leadership led to the successful revival of the Olympic Games. On April 6, 1896, the first modern Olympic Games were inaugurated in Athens, Greece. Thirteen countries participated, marking the rebirth of a grand tradition. Pierre de Coubertin served as the IOC's second president, holding the position for a record 29 years, from 1896 to 1925. His visionary leadership and commitment to the Olympic movement propelled the Games to new heights. 
Pierre's influence extended beyond his presidency. He continued to shape the Olympic movement, serving as an honorary president until his passing in 1937. Pierre de Coubertin's belief in the educational value of sports led to the inclusion of cultural and educational programs within the Olympic Games. This holistic approach aimed to inspire athletes to excel not only on the field, but also in their personal and intellectual growth. Today on International Olympic Day, we celebrate Pierre de Coubertin's vision and the enduring spirit of the Olympics. This day serves as a reminder of the values the Games embody, friendship, respect, and excellence. You know, the Olympics bring nations together, but have you ever wondered why they don't have a medal for synchronized snacking? I guess potato chip synchronized dipping just isn't an Olympic-worthy sport yet. Pierre de Coubertin once said, the most important thing in the Olympic Games is not winning, but taking part. Well, I guess that explains why I never made it to the podium. I was too busy taking part in post-competition pizza parties. As we embrace the Olympic spirit on this special day, let's remember the incredible journey of Pierre de Coubertin. His passion, determination, and unwavering belief in the power of sports have left an indelible mark on the world. May the Olympic flame continue to ignite inspiration and unite us all. Remember to join us on the next episode of Faces of History as we delve into more captivating stories from the past. Until then, keep the Olympic spirit alive in your hearts and minds. Happy International Olympic Day! Faces of History